Hi, today I'd like to show you how I get sounds out of a little Roland microcube. I noticed that I do things a little bit differently than some people. I thought it might be helpful. I do get a lot of comments of people having trouble with their piezo three string cigar box guitars. And this is as basic as you get. Super high action. And I'll open it up here. And uh, I'm sure everybody out there has probably made one or two of these. Yep, just as basic as you can get. Oh, by the way. If you are having a lot of troubles, you can get a piece of foam. Here we are, bring the foam in the picture. Um, and you can stick it in there and shut the box. And that will really dampen down. Uh, you won't lose any sound, really. Um, but you have less feedback if you're having that problem. I'm going to just put the screw back in it. Because otherwise I'll get some kind of weird rumbling sort of sounds. There we go. How hard can this be? So what I do is I start with the tone off. And each one of these piezo guitars seems to be different. Um, meaning that some, some of them are very bright and some of them aren't uh, as bright, I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So th what I do is uh, turn the amp on. That's always a good start. And I have everything off here, and I've got it on uh, the second setting, which is a jazz chorus setting. I'm leaving the chorus off. I'm not going to mess with any of that stuff. I think there's a little reverb on there. Um, so I'll give the master volume up about half or whatever, get it, get it rolling, give it some volume here. Now it's pointed the other way, but you can probably tell it's not very loud. So with this setting, um, I use the gain to bring it up. Brings it right in. Doesn't change the tone. And everybody knows that. So anyway, um, that's how I do that. So on the next setting, I take the. I still have the tone off, and I turn the gain off, and the volume down a bit. Each setting, as you go across here, is boosted. So each one gets louder. So if you leave everything the same, you're going to have, you know, it's going to jump up in volume. And I've had several people say, it just goes crazy. Well, it, you're right, it does. So this would be more, um, I sort of prefer this sound here anyway. Um, so there we are. It's still pretty quiet. Here we have the gain. This is a nice one for blues. getting any feedback problems. All right, turn it down a bit. Same thing. Turn everything down again so I don't freak myself out. This is a Brit Rock setting. It's uh, much more potent, you might say. Yes, it gets more potent. And each one will continue to do that. If I want more distortion, um, I run it differently. I turn the master volume off. I turn the gain up full. And then I just sneak it in. And that brings out the distortion. And once again, this particular instrument is really bright. I haven't touched that tone knob. Other ones I would have like tweaked in a little bit of tone or whatever. So I'm going to turn this off again and go to the next setting, which is really raunchy. So we're starting getting to the point where I'm finding the sound not quite so useful, at least not for me. But anyway, I hope that was helpful, and I hope that solves some of the problems that people have been mentioning to me. Have a great day. Bye.